owner, Robert Kraft, Nets co-owner, Clara Wulsai, hedge fund manager and investor, Danielle Loeb, uh, cryptocurrency titan, Michael Novogratz, and Vista Equity partner and founder, Robert Smith, have all teamed up with renowned rapper Jay-Z and Meek Mill to launch the Reform Alliance in January 2019 and Whereas co-chaired by Meek Mill, the Reform Alliance was formed to advance criminal justice reform and eradicate outdated policies that perpetuate injustice in the United States. Their goal is to reduce the number of people affected by parole and probation by one million over the next five years. And whereas Meek Mill has donated over 60,000 bottles of water to the people of Flint, Michigan, giving away thousands of backpacks and school supplies to children all across the city of Philadelphia and provided gifts to those in homeless shelters. And How you doing? North Philly. Yeah. Right? Whereas this past fall, Meek Mill, partnered with the City of Philadelphia and Puma to renovate basketball courts at 33rd and Oxford Street. In December, he teamed up with Puma and Go Puff to host a toy giveaway for over 3,000 children at the Martin Luther King Jr. Recreation Center, which is located at 22nd and Cecil B. Moore Avenue, giving away video game consoles, bicycles, art sets, sneakers, board games, and an array of other toys to kids from schools and organizations across the Philadelphia area. And <coughs> Thank you. Whereas additionally, Meek Mill serves as one of the captains of Puma's new, newly launched reform platform that enables Puma ambassadors from the world of sports, music, and entertainment to advocate for social justice issues and champion causes to promote positive change. He is specifically spearheading reform's focus on criminal justice reform, and all proceeds from sales of his reform-related products will be donated to charities working to reform the criminal justice system. And whereas using all platforms available due to his celebrity, Meek Mills has teamed up with Amazon Prime Video and Jay-Z's Rock Nation for a six-part documentary series that will follow his own fight for exoneration while exposing flaws in the criminal justice system. Now, therefore, be it resolved of the Council of the City of Philadelphia that we hereby honor, recognize, and congratulate Robert Meek Mill Williams for his philanthropic and criminal justice reform endeavors and name March 15th through March 17th of 2019 as Meek Mill Weekend in the City of Philadelphia. Be it further resolved that an engrossed copy of this resolution be presented to Meek Mill as evidence of the true and sincere sentiments of this legislative body. And on behalf of Council President, Daryl Clark, members of council, we'd like to officially present to you this citation on behalf of the city of Philadelphia. Yeah, thank you. And the chair recognizes Meek Mills for remarks. Uh, uh, I would like to say thank you to the city of Philadelphia, uh, my mom, my family, my sister, son, niece, and nephew here, uh, Rock Nation, Michael Rubin. Uh, as you know, the situation I've been through, uh, a lot of people didn't know when I came home, I would focus on really uh, trying to give young kids like me a fair shot coming up in the system. Uh, a lot of people in the beginning thought that uh, it may have just been a part of my situation. But uh, what we had started uh, now, our foundation, me, Michael Rubin, Robert Crab, Jay-Z, Mike Novogratz, Mike Novogratz, uh, Clara Sa, we, st we started the foundation and, uh, you know, just I wanted to do something where I felt important enough to give people like me coming up a fair shot in life. As you see, I got a seven-year-old son. My son's seven years old. He may make mistakes in life. I don't want my son growing up in a world, uh, a place where if he decided to use marijuana one time, he could spend two or three years in a state penitentiary raised by uh, people he don't know. I, I don't believe. Uh, Young kids where we come from, minorities like myself, should have a shot like that. And I think uh, we deserve better. And I'm trying to fight for 
the young kids that I actually spent time with and, and, and sat in prison with multiple times for not even committing crime. And I want to thank the people here for the support because the support have mattered a lot. I've been in prison a few times for probation and violations, but the one time that my city of Philadelphia showed me support was the one time I came out of prison and want to show the support back and do it for the people that actually stood up for me. So, you know, that mean a lot. Growing up in Philadelphia was my mom, a single parent home. Uh, she working eight hours a day. We actually are growing up in the streets in the wild, on the corner, and not really having guidance. So, you know, just having the support means a lot. Uh, I want to thank everybody who ever supported me to put me in this situation. And uh, I'm not even really here to take credit. It's a part of my life. It's what I've been through. It's what I experienced. And, you know, I just think that uh, as a city of Philadelphia, uh, me with a platform as being a musical artist, being known worldwide, I could use my voice to actually, you know, make things better. This is not a call out for people to do crime and not go to jail. This has never been a case. It's a call out to give people who actually come up under different circumstances a, a fair shot in America. And, and that's the people I want to speak for. You do wrong, you get wrong. But I think in this life, you deserve right if you live in the right way. And you deserve a fair shot. And that's what I'm here fighting for. I want to shout out to people like Mike Rubin. Uh, he witnessed my case. This is not a case of uh, a wealthy guy, a, wife, a, a, a wealthy white man seeing his friend go to prison and want to step up just because it's me. No, this turned into a case of him being introduced to something that he never seen personally with his own two eyes of unfairness. And uh, we spent a lot of time in, on, on prison visits, me explaining to him that this happens to a thousand people on a daily basis. Me, myself, I actually grew up in the early 90s where, uh, late 80s, where crack laws were placed in. It wasn't men in our neighborhood, so you know, it kept the system flowing of young men going in and out of prison. And you know, like I said, I got a seven-year-old son uh, I've been to prison probably three or four times in state penitentiaries, county prisons with people who got life in prison, murderers, rapists, and been in those situations three or four times without committing crime. I'm employed. I employ people. I do a lot of charity in my city. Uh, I don't know. A lot of police officers, you may see me riding around these places. I try to keep it close and stick close to the place I come from and not really feel like I have to move to a whole different coast of the world. And, you know, it's, it's not a, uh, we got a lot of violence we got to fix here where a lot of people look like me die on a daily basis. If you watch the news, a lot of young men die from gun violence. I still try to stick as close as I can and give my influence and, you know, bring what I can bring to the city of Philadelphia and, you know, uh, make things a better place. I, I cannot be a perfect person. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm 31 years old. I'm a young man. And you know, I, I want to be me today. I wanted to wear a suit. I wanted to look nice. But you know, I want to look like me in, in situations like this. Uh, I'm wearing Milano, a, a young girl from Philadelphia supporting her business on tour. <laughs> on tour, I wear, uh, uh, it's a vest. It's not a real bulletproof vest. It's actually a kid from like West Philadelphia. He got a clover line. He does not pay me to wear that. I wear it every tour night. Basically stating, uh, I do it for my city and I, I appreciate everybody in here supporting me, whoever has support for me and I'm going to continue to do what I do. And thank you for everything. So me. Hello. You want to speak? I'm not going to read this whole thing because we've already heard enough, but I do want to say we thank you for not just in Philadelphia, but the laws that you've been trying to pass, you've been working on mostly state laws. So on behalf of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Pennsylvania State Senate, we also acknowledge the work that you've done and the work that you're going to do and all your success. Congratulations, me. It's from the state. I just want to thank everybody for being. Be, I just want to thank everybody for being here today. Um, to see the city rally behind Meek is—it's what makes Philadelphia great. I mean, Meek and I talk all the time about how do you take a bad situation and turn it into a positive, and we're all here doing exactly that. A year ago, I just said to Meek, the last time I was here, we were having rallies to get Meek out of prison for a crime he didn't commit. Today. The city standing behind him in the biggest way. And I gotta say, I'm so proud of Meek 
for taking his negative situation and figuring out how we can together help millions of other people that, and he said it right, I didn't think this, thing, this, this stuff really happened. I didn't believe you could go to prison for not committing a crime. And yeah, you know, I went to, I had the, uh, what I thought was the unfortunate experience, but it was really an incredible experience of going to court with him November 6, 2017. And for me, um, that opened my eyes to a world I didn't believe existed. And, you know, I think in reality, Meek has been able to take this situation and say, how do I help millions of other people? So I'm so proud of you. I'm so appreciative of everybody here in Philadelphia standing behind him. And I just want to say thank you. And, and uh, it's a, we're just getting started, but I look forward to helping millions of people together with Meek and all of our other partners in Desiree Rock Nation. So exciting times ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Councilor Beatty.